This video is about a simple simulation of the holism reductionism debate. If you want to know what that means, I recommend this book that shows you what holism is and reductionism is. And it shows that in physics, genetics, biology, neuroscience, ecology and sociology. I will show you the link later on. If you want to know how to make a simulation, I would recommend this book that shows you how to use VBA to do that in Excel. So, what is the simple part of it? Let's say this word, holism, we are going to reduce that by reductionism to its elements, H-O-L-I-S-M, and then by breaking them apart, which is reductionism, we need to put pieces together again. And we do that here with a simulation. We are going to take all the characters of that word, and of course there is only one that is correct, and that is the assembly, the piecing together into the word holism. If you want to calculate how many times that would take, in statistical terms you use the permutation function. And I hooked it up to this word, whatever is in there, the length of C2, and the length of C2. You can also do a permutation with repetition, that's not what we want here, or a combination with the combin function, etc. Permutations then the order matters. In this order, it, in this example, it's important what the order is. So we are going to run that with a VBA code. I'm going to do Control Shift H, that's the shortcut to the VBA code, and it runs all kind of combinations and it did that very quickly in this case in 79 cases. That is not always the case of course. If I do it again, it could take longer or shorter. And when it finds the word holism, it says, OK, you have assembled it together correctly. So what is the code behind this? Alt F11 shows you the VBA code. And I called that subroutine holism. I declared a set of variables. The first one is an array variable that can hold multiple elements by putting open and close parentheses. Then we are going to clean the range from 6.5 on up to the end. We store in S word whatever is in range C2, in this case the word holism. We determine what the length is of that word. Then we use a label that I will use later on. I have to redim the array that cleans it automatically, and the first dimension is from 1 to 2, the second dimension from 1 to i length. We make sure that s nu is an empty string, and then we loop through all the characters. For x equals, equals 1 to i length, we store in the first array x in the first dimension from s word the middle part starting at position x and one character long. In the second one we put a random number. So later on we can put it randomly in a certain order. Then we are going to sort it randomly. So we are going to put the first R and D first and that because R and D is a random number uh, it will simulate something like a permutation. Uh, so what do we have to do? We have to loop for i equals 1, 2, u bound is the last element's index number, minus 1, and I'm going to compare it to the next one, for z is i, y plus 1 to u bound. If that random number, which is in the second dimension, if that happens to be in y greater than in z, then we have to swap them. We do that by using a temporary variable. We put in s temp 1 the first element, and then we put in the second one the first one, and we put s2 back in here. And we do the same for the random number. Okay. So we end up with a very nicely ordered set of characters, ordered according to the random number. Then we are going to create the new word that is assembled together. So that is like a holism procedure, 
we put things together. We do that by looping through all the characters. And we put in as new what we had already, the first time that is nothing, and we add the next character in a sorted order. Then we do a do loop, and we find the next available cell that has not a word in it yet. We do that by taking from C4 the current region that goes up to the next empty row, count the number of rows, add plus 3 because there are cells above it that we didn't use, and offset it by one row down and zero columns to the left or to the right. If S new happens to be the same as S word, in our case holism, then select that last cell, uh, put in the message box how many trials we have. You can actually see that in the number of rows, but okay, let's do that officially. Exit the sub. We do a do event, especially when it's a long process, so we can interfere and find out how far we are, etc. And then we go to the label again. And that label was here. And then it does that again. It creates a new array, put random numbers in there, etc. And we keep looping through all of that. That's what we did here. Um, I, I don't have to tell you, if that word is longer, it will probably take a little longer. If I type in there, reduction, I'm not going to do reductionism, then you get many more permutations, so that might take quite a while. Control shift h and I will probably skip a lot of this and only show you the end result later on. And finally, after 123,000 runs, the word reduction came back. That was after many, many trials. Because there is randomness involved, it can happen much sooner, but it can also happen much later. So that's the end result we received. Again, you can find the issue of reduction and reductionism and holism in this book. This is the table of contents. This is the link you can use by putting that in your browser. You will find information about that book, a summary, table of contents, and some endorsements. Something similar could be said about the other book. It shows you how to create 100 different different Excel VBA simulations. This is the link. If you want to find out more about it, you will find on the internet with that link what the book looks like with an, a sample of two pages. They are always in tandem. The left one explains what the simulation does direct and the right one gives you the code, the VBA code for it. It discusses an enormous amount of simulations in all kinds of fields. And I think you, uh, you could really benefit from it, as have many people before you.